Hi guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech. You guys are forever asking for a room tour slash kind of like a desk setup tour, something like that. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing that type of video f uh, to you guys today. Now first of all, I just want to go over some of the monitors that I have. So I do have two of these and you guys are forever asking what the model numbers are. Now the one to the left is the Asus VE247H. It just costs about £110, so it's a relatively cheap 1080p monitor. And this is kind of like my secondary monitor. I find myself these days not using it that much, but it is a good monitor overall. Now the main monitor that I use is the BenQ GL2450 HT. HD meaning height adjustment, so you can change the height of this monitor, which is genius. I um, really do like this panel, um, I do think it's a tad better um, uh, than the actual Asus one. Now so the speakers, these are the Soundsticks, um, Soundsticks 3, very very good speakers and what you also get with this one is a very very nice subwoofer and yeah the speakers are transparent so they're quite unique and overall they do deliver some very very good sound quality. Now, now so the peripherals, I'm currently using a Corsair Strafe. Cherry MX uh, brown switch keyboard, very very nice uh, mechanical keyboard, really do like it and um, yeah, yeah, you get the WASD buttons in kind of like a different colour and they are kind of angles to kind of keep your fingers on the WASD buttons which is yeah, very very nice. Now as for the mouse, I'm using a Corsair, this is the M, I think it's the 65, is it the M65 Pro and I've got the LEDs just set to register, max, ma uh, yeah, max the key, match the keyboard, yes there we are, and uh, just the mouse mat, it's the SteelSays one. Now, so my test rig currently rocking an i7-4790K with a Noctua NHD15 mounted on that. And then for the GPU, that's the Zyrtec GTX 1060, it's the Amp Edition with 6GB of GDDR5 memory. This comes in about £260 and there will be a review of this card very, very soon on the channel. Overall, it's just a fantastic card and has lots and lots of performance. Um, yeah, lots of performance. Um, the actual bench that I use is the Dimmest Tech. It's the V1 Mini, and then just uh, zooming in on the power supply there, the Corsair RM 850. That's how I'm able to test loads of power supply, um, yeah, loads of GPUs and stuff without having to worry about power usage. And then there's a good old Volt Tech Volt Boy there, um, genius. And also the microphone, I'm currently using the the Zoom H4n, very very nice microphone. It's quite expensive, but it it just it, it just delivers some really really good results. Now as for the chest of, draw, chest of drawers to the right hand side, I just have many products lined up here for review. Um, many, many coolers. I've re recently got sent a mouse over from QPad. I'm going to be bringing a sound card review soon. Loads of headphones and yeah, big bag there of thermal paste. A good old Kingston SSD. And my Sigma lens that I recently picked up, which is, uh, yeah, it does have optical stabilization, so that's nice. Just for two of these coolers. Um, Recently received a Cooler Master Hyper 212X. It's supposed to be a tad better than the 212 Evo, so it'll be interesting to see how that performs since they have took a look at the actual Evo. I do have my personal GTX 960, the Asus Strix version. Really do love that card. It's the most most silent gaming card I've ever had my hands on. Um, too many coolers here sent from Actic, the Alpine 11 Pro and 11 Plus. They'll be getting reviews very soon. And um, yeah, my box there for my Audio Technica HHM 50s. And also here again, a CPU cooler sent from Deep Cool. Um, uh, the Game of Storm LAN. This is the Assassin 2. And as you can see, there are eight pieces of high performance heat pipes. The first CPU cooler I'm going to be checking out with with eight heat pipes. Uh, very, very impressive. I do have here a poster of Lord Lara Croft. I think having posters around your room somewhat gives it character. And just above my actual computer, I do have a Fallout New Vegas poster there, which is um, yeah, pretty damn nice. I really do like that. It does say, enjoy your stay to the bottom left. Now to the right hand side, um, many many products. Just first for this poster, this is the uh, this is a Rise of the Tomb Raider poster. Now on the second chest of drawers, I have the Emily's AI Crystal, which is spelled Crystal. That always makes me laugh. But um, yeah, that box there, the case is actually not in the box yet. I will be putting that in the box very very shortly. But um, yeah, the case is very very nice. Over here, I do have my headphones. These are the Hamo S headphones. Did really did release a review of them um, quite a long time ago. But regardless, they're very very nice headphones. I have a box there for my 960, and then also the Zotac box there for the good old 1060. The 1060 is actually surprisingly more powerful than the the 960. So just moving the soft box out of the way there, I have many, many products here just all stacked up. I will end up selling quite a few of these, but what I tend to do is keep all the products for quite a while, um, just simply because if I want to make comparisons, I have them to compare to, say, newer products that I get through for review. Many of these are cases. I do have my speaker box, many, many boxes there for processor coolers and also motherboards. Um, so, yeah, just many, many boxes for products. And yeah, they are literally stacked to the top of the roof, um, or ceiling, shall I say. Um, 
yeah, I don't actually have storage for all these products, but yeah, I, I do get a lot and I've just got to like stack them together. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this kind of setup tour. Might be a little bit of, of a uh, different video, but hopefully you guys have an idea now of um, yeah, my actual test rig, um, you know, the monitors that I have on my desk, and just in general all the products that I have lying around my room. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and um, yeah, catch you guys in my next video. Goodbye.